I hate the shotguns in this game. I'm literally pre-firing this kid. I literally looked over there, and then the second I don't, then.
I love this game because when I click the shoot button, it doesn't it doesn't explode. I need to get extended mags on this.
That was a scary sight.
one health. That's dumb. What?
fucking scared. Fuck the shotgun. I hate the shotgun. Oh, this gun is great. This every shot is 60 mile radius. What the fuck is that? Well, that looks sick.
Oh, that barely missed him. No, oh, no, no. Oh. Why did you guys do that? Now they know we're up here. 
Now I'm dead. Why would you guys shoot when you don't have a sniper? Child. No, I just don't know how to play this game. I dislike this game very much. What? Why are there four of them? This game is kind of annoying. Are we winning? No, we're getting absolutely obliterated. Now I've been spotted. I can't go anywhere and this motherfucker thinks he's slick. And you're gone. And he shot me through the little crack in the <laughs> we traded.
go shopping. Yeah. I am done shopping for 2016. <laughs> now, Here's my wife. Same thing. This is Laura. Laura says, I need a bike haircut. Go to the mall. Here's how Laura does it. Laura walks in the mall. There she is. Three hours, 26 minutes, 876 dollars. And look, she never got to the gap. Oh. She's got to go back tomorrow. If I've been doing this, uh, this chart, I have done shopping for 2016. If I've been doing this, uh, this chart for a while, my wife finally got back to me. Very smart. Man. My wife, she said, you know, you're not asking yourself the right question. Ask yourself, who's the more efficient shopper? And a cost per minute basis. You don spent thirty-three dollars and six minutes. That's a cost per minute of five dollars and fifty cents per minute. I will spend eight hundred and seventy-six dollars and two hundred and six minutes. That's a cost per minute of four twenty-five. <laughs> Somebody, somebody break your 
party girl, she just wants Did I sneeze? When did I sneeze? I don't remember sneezing. Ah! Ah! All right. I bopped. I bopped. Yeah, I bopped. No, I'm not gonna stop screaming. <laughs> ah, good times. That's been good. Hello. No, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, no, don't leave, no, don't leave, no, don't leave. <laughs> I had to do it one more time, that's all. Okay, I won't scream, dummy. No, don't leave. Spice fish. He's kind of spicy, bro. Super duper poopa chunger. Are you gonna, dude? This kid, dude, come on. This man won't load.
Haha, -ha, gotcha. Did I get him? <laughs> we traded. <laughs> Didn't I just play with you? Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey. Which, uh, like, coming to that Ah, my devil. One's inside bakery still. He's in bakery now. It's Twitch. Still be on. Hello. You 
shoot through that wall, you can probably kill it. Just lying down on the ground. Right here. Shoot the ground, the ground, or the bottom. There you go. No meds on pink, she's just standing there. Maybe more to the left. Hello. One out four remaining. Go. Uh, four eliminated. Nice, nice. Oh my god.
keep it to us, you know? <laughs> I don't know. At least, I'd say 200. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Anywhere from 180 to 200, 215. Just out of curiosity, do you think you'd be able to bench press 124 pounds, 5 foot 10? That dude lives in Hong Kong. I could bench press that, but I would probably do something else with it. <laughs> oh. And it went like. Vigil is roaming in library. Nice job, Spike. The diffuser is now secured. Plant it. Bomb diffusion initiated. Protect the diffuser. Friendly last 
Man, man. We need to locate a bomb.
I can't really do high pitch. I I like sucking on my water bottle. Pretty nice. Learn kitchen. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. And I have a calf, so watch out for her roaming. Individual. I have one upstairs which is instead of uh, turning one right now. I open up the hatch in the kitchen so she, she might have just dropped down there. She's interrogating Blackbeard. Fuck! I'm bad at this game. That's for oh wait, I don't want to play another match. I wanted to fix my setting.
we're cleaning it up now. It looks really good. I didn't know he looked to be a hundred. Wow. Wow. I wish I got to know him. Yeah. So the other day I went to the ATM and took out some money, went towards Walmart, and I searched for the biggest, most badass TV I could buy. So I went home. Are you fucking kidding me? I had like four of them lined up. Tell Wolf at Yankee. I, he like leans every five minutes. He leans one way and then leans the other way five minutes later. Locate the biohazard container. Last one from the Lucy, it looks like.
Yeah, that was a fucking bullshit kill. Where was he? He was on the other side of the building? I'm just gonna stand in front of him like that and you know, not get this hit. Come on. We got this, guys, don't worry about it. Oh, my bad. It's all good, it's just loud. Yeah, sorry about that.
How? One's down. Good. Good game, boy. Today on SVG News, the Dr. Disrespect mystery deepens as an industry insider expertly expounds ominous implications. What are you even saying? It has now been a couple of weeks since Dr. Disrespect was permanently banned from Twitch. Since then, everyone has been trying to figure out why this happened. Even a body language expert weighed in on the subject in an attempt to understand the bizarre last few minutes of the Doc's final stream. Neither the Doc nor Twitch have been particularly forthcoming with reasons behind this ban, with Dr. Disrespect claiming that he doesn't know why he was banned. Nothing! I got nothing! I don't give the information, nothing! However, we may have a few hints as to what's going on behind the scenes. During a recent Twitch broadcast, Azam Biker had gaming journalist and insider Rod Slasher Breslow as his guest. Breslow tends to have his finger on the pulse of the industry, particularly when it comes to gossip surrounding streamers and YouTubers. In fact, Breslow was one of the first people to report that the dog's Twitch suspension was actually a permanent ban. The two talked about the developing the situation bad. regarding Twitch and Pixel streamers who may be making moves to other platforms. I At one point, they discussed the fact that Ninja and Shroud have allegedly friend. been in talks with YouTube Gaming since it was announced that Mixer would be closing. In fact, all signs currently seem to point to Ninja making that move to YouTube, which prompted Hassan to bring up Dr. Disrespect as a possible acquisition for YouTube gaming. However, Breslow shut this idea down. After a very brief pause, Breslow said, Oh, no, it's not the doctors. I mean, like, YouTube is not talking to doctors. This seemed to come as a surprise to Biker, who didn't press the issue at the time. There were rumors that the dog was in talks with YouTube to possibly move to that platform, but those had apparently fizzled out. That stands in contrast to what Breslow had to say, however. The implication instead seems to... Dude, yeah, really? You... Really, dude? You sang over. Me. Get ripped, moron. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you smell farts, loser. Yeah, you yeah. fucking stiffer idiot head. Hey, you stop yeah, that, Mr. Octopod. Mr. Octopod. This is a special... Out oh, of no. <gasps> the, the way, you're gonna die. Breslow had to say, however, the implication instead seems to be that something major is keeping most platforms from considering a deal with the dog at all. Breslow also hinted very recently that he knows exactly why the dog was banned, but he's not comfortable discussing it in a public forum just yet. As he explained to Biker, there is a serious concern that he could run into a defamation lawsuit if he talks about it on social media. Instead, he is hoping to receive indemnity from a publication that runs his story. I do need a publication to back me, but this requires indemnity that I want, and that has been 
rather difficult to acquire. This would protect him from any legal ramifications that could result from him discussing what he knows. Sneaky, no? I am very, very sneaky, sir. To put it lightly, this all started to sound very serious. As Hassan Viker puts it, it appears that the dark isn't making a platform move of any kind. Not only that, but there may be some kind of criminal element involved in Dr. Disrespect's ban. When we started this game with Jazeen, it was out of a real... Hello. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Ow. Why would I do that?
Oh, we have to feed. I am. You got a problem? Got a problem? Dude, chill out. It's just an unranked. It's not even worth anything, dude. Oh, well, sucks to be you. Dude, it's an unranked. Chill out. Holy. A little salty there. Dude, there's no point in getting mad at this. There's really no point. I really thought he planted. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Fuck me. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc.
located a bomb. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it.
four neutralized. Mission successful. Locate a bomb. Drone has located a bomb. Second floor. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds before insertion. We found the bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Why is...
Welcome, Matt. Make your way. 
I've been interrogated. Kaveras on the loose. Gonna hunt you down. Sure. Give me five minutes. It's hot in here. I know. Is there a problem? Why don't you open the door? <laughs> huh? I don't think it's that big of a problem, though. It's nice cool out here. Feels good. I know. But it's nice and cozy in here. Dad? You didn't say anything about me putting up that picture. What picture? You don't even know what picture is. No, I didn't notice it. Located a bomb. 